guys! So, first of all, I'm pretty sure I've forgotten how to record a voiceover because I have started this like 10 times. So, let's get through this. Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it has been a while, clearly, but I am back. I am working on the YouTube Artist Collective piece um, that we are all doing for December. The theme was Ice fantasy, so um, I feel like I have a lot to talk about, um, but I'll go ahead and start by talking about the painting because uh, it's moving real fast. Um, so as you can see, I already put on quite a bit of masking fluid. I masked out some areas that I wanted to be white. I also sprayed it with um, water and then did the masking fluid and water technique that I learned forever ago and have now used in like every painting since I learned that technique. Um, and right now I'm just going ahead and throwing on some colors um, just kind of to establish the base color of the picture. Um, so as you can see I had already drawn the picture before the video started um, so I don't have a recording of that um, but basically the theme was ice fantasy and which is a really really fun theme and at first I kind of had this idea of um, like an ice skater and she was like ice skating and then like crystals like coming up behind her um, but then someone else actually did a really really similar idea um, and I also had another idea um, which I is kind of the one I went with but it's a little bit different but basically I just kind of wanted to portray um, that kind of like toxic relationship that I think a lot of people have, um, whether it's with another person or whether it's with something negative in your life, but it's this thing that is just like reaching out and trying to get you and you know what I mean? And you're just, it's really tempting and it's really addicting and you want to go back to it, um, but you know it's not good for you. Um, so I just kind of wanted to portray that and originally I had a lot of different ideas where, um, you know, I, you know, she was melting or she was being frozen and the ice was kind of like um, encapsulating her heart. Um, and eventually I ended up going for something which I think is a little more hopeful, I guess. Um, but basically, you can see um, the ice is kind of like cre creeping up on her um, and these tendrils are reaching out, but she is like running away and she's breaking free and she has her fire to like melt the ice and to like lead her out of um, this bad situation. And um, so yeah, I was just kind of like thinking about that and like how you have to like focus on your inner fire and not let negativity and those bad things control you and like not go back to something just because it's familiar or just because you don't know what else to do if that thing is negative for you um whatever that is and um that can take many many forms depending on who you are and what you're struggling with in your life so that was kind of my idea behind the piece. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a mixed media piece. I started with a lot of masking fluid, then I went ahead and painted in um, kind of some colors, uh, like flats with my uh, Yarka St. Petersburg White Knight um, watercolor paints. And now I'm going in with my uh, gouache, which is still the Artist Loft gouache that I got. I really need to like get nicer gouache, but I mean, this works fine. So I just, you know, I'm still using it. Um, and I uh, use that to add more shading and more details and then later on I um, go in and add some colored pencil as well. Um, I knew the piece was going to be mixed media from the beginning. Um, I really wanted to experiment with this, um, both in terms of the medium and also um, stylistically. Uh, I just kind of wanted to have it be more free-flowing and less controlled less precise and just kind of see where it went. Um, I don't know how I feel about the finished piece. I don't dislike it. Um, I think that it was an experiment and I'm happy with how it turned out for an experiment. Um, and it was what I needed to make, if that makes sense. Um, I don't think it's my favorite piece I've ever done, but I think I'm happy with how it turned out. I don't know. It's hard to judge your own artwork. Um, her head is too big, but whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see. That was the idea behind the piece. And then I talked about the medium. Um, YouTube Artist Collective, for those of you that don't know, if you are new to this channel or to the YouTube Artist Collective or you just subscribed to me and forgot who I am because I haven't uploaded a video in like a billion years, um, YouTube Artist Collective is a bunch of us artists. We all 
get together. Um, we have like a Facebook group and uh, our viewers, you, you guys can go and vote on themes. And every two months, we all make an artwork based on the theme. So that's what we are doing. And I uh, will write everyone's names down in the description box. Um, we've had a few new members join um, and a couple people have left or aren't participating this time around. Um, I would list them out, but my computer is actually uh, no longer able to connect to the internet. Um, <laughs> segue, um, I'm having a lot of technological troubles in my life. Um, I'm currently recording this voiceover on my phone because the microphone, my microphone is broken. The microphone on my computer is not working. My computer itself is like broken in 10 different places and they tried to fix part of it today. Like they tried to fix the screen today and instead of fixing the screen, they broke the Wi-Fi. Um, the new screen that they put on started smoking when he put it on and, uh, in this process of it smoking, it also um, desoldered the Wi-Fi chip inside. So now I have no internet. Um, so basically I just have like a hunk of metal that masquerades as a computer, but doesn't do anything useful. Um, but I did manage to edit the video and hopefully I will be able to get it uploaded tomorrow. Um, I am filming this, recording this on a Thursday. Hi, my name's Alice. I like to procrastinate. Um, and you guys will get this on time. <laughs> so if this video is on time, thumbs up. If it's not on time, thumbs up anyway. Yeah. Anyway, um, so <laughs> right now I am going back in with watercolor after doing a bunch of gouache work and um, just kind of adding in some more details. Um, I, uh, added in some wings and like had one of the wings torn because um, I wanted to create more of a magical feel than I had. Um, even though in my head I had this like magic, like these tendrils of magic, ice magic reaching towards her, I still didn't feel like it was fantasy enough. So I decided to make her into kind of like a broken, torn fairy. Um, so like one of her wings is torn and the ice magic got it on the way out. The cold did bother her. So she ran away from the cold with her fire. Um, <laughs> and now I'm going in with the color pencils and I am again using Prismacolor color pencils, which is pretty much what I use in most of my videos. Um, I do have a couple other brands, but I usually stick to Prismacolors at least for using over watercolor because I think they work nicely. Um, and yeah, I, that's it. This video is finished. Wow. That was fast. I don't really have anything else to say about it, so that's good, other than it's quite a large piece. Um, I think it's a little round 11 by 17, and it's on Strathmore more watercolor paper, which is not my favorite watercolor paper, but I thought it'd be good for mixed media, and it worked out fine. Um, so yeah, as always, this will be for sale in my Etsy store. If you would like to purchase that, I will leave a link down below, and thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Um. So that's kind of why I decided to draw what I drew. Um, and I really wanted to have the whole video feel really cozy actually. So I added that little intro and I tried to make the colors kind of warmer and